tougher the track, the better he is. And the closer that it gets and the more, more important it gets towards the championship, it seems the more that uh, he's able to focus. So uh, this is still just such a competitive first moto here at the 2014 uh, Monster Energy FIM Motocross of Nations. Uh, we both believe that this, that the math on all this by the time we get to the end of the day, could be very close to determine who takes home the Chamberlain Trophy. Well, with 14 and a half to go, Paul Antonkov, Dunchik, Nagel, Van Horvick, and Cairo in your top six. And Kai Rowley finding it more difficult to get through here. He made a bad start yesterday because of Italy's gate choice from the qualifying ballot, which put him all the way to the outside. But he was able to find a way in quick succession past all the... Oh, he caught his footrest there. And he, that was almost an almost moment. OK, it wasn't through the front door, but it grabbed his foot, and that could have ended differently, Jeff. Well, yeah, and, and the difference here, the two riders that were watching, um, the, the blue 450 Yamaha, versus the orange 250 KTM. The difference is, on the, on the KTM, you, the smaller engine, you don't have the horsepower. So, Cairoli is counting on carrying momentum through the turn, because he will not out-accelerate the 450. So he really has to, has to plan where he's going to take a different line and try to use momentum uh, to make the pass. But Van Hornbeek being very stingy, as he should be, with this position. And, and uh, in the meantime, Kyro is just going to get roosted this whole time because he has been on the rear tire. He's on him. He's done him. And he was building that for the last few corners. Coming out of the final oh, corner, that's just... he turned tighter. He got the drive down. He was down the left side. I watched him as well through that little mogul as they worked their way around pit lane. He picked the front wheel up over that first little crest, and he was working it, working it, working it. Got himself in a good position. Kyro, all of a sudden, then on the 250, and for Italy, moves up as the defending champions. And, uh, Jeremy Van Horvick goes into fifth place, and he's only around a second or so behind Max Nagel. And you sense now, Jeff, that with this clear track ahead of him to get onto the rear wheel of Nagel, it's maybe.